Hello, my gorgeous sparkly Gemini. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, my darling boo boo, whatever that means to you. Situation trip, relationship, bumble day, marriage. Uh, also, Gemini, bear in mind these you versus them readings are low key love and separation readings because we're assuming there's some kind of a rift or separation going on between you and your person. Some, someone, you know swimming in the waters of love okay that just sounded so wrong anyway angels please show me what is happening for gemini uh sun moon rising and venus in your person also gemini welcome to blue angel love tarot if you are ooh, if you are new the devil already the devil we'll get into it don't worry oh the devil if you're new the devil is here anyway uh welcome Vivu. and if you are a returning blue angel thank you i appreciate you i love you and i see you baby i am so so appreciative of all uh the gemini's all the boo-boos who uh joined me so i'm i'm just so grateful baby give me a kiss mm. Uh, I'm stumbling on my words. I'm too grateful. Also, this is low key a Gemini channel as well because I may scoop you, but I have loads of Gemini. Like, in, um, well, it's loads of Gemini, but it's like in very key placements. So, very Gemini. And I have so, I just have like a lot of Gemini. Gemini stuff in my life. Let me just say, say it that way. So, Page of Swords here, Bibbo, for your person. Okay, this is an immature an immature little person all right this is an immature little person why is it always an immature little person boo boo they're spying on you they want to know what you're up to but they're not saying anything okay gaslighting blowing they're blowing smoke in your eye you know hmm hmm let's see King of Swords. Ooh, ooh, oh, okay. So if it was a Mimbo Himbo from Tinder, anyone in between you met on a Tuesday, this was a ghost star. It is a ghost. It is someone um, who ghosted. It is someone who ghosted. Six of Swords. Uh, they assess the situation. They realize that uh, there's something about the situation here that spooked this person, okay? Uh, Seven of Pentacles, yeah. So they got spooked because they thought it was too much hard work okay i'm gonna be honest they thought it was too much hard work but bill why do people think uh we're too much hard work it's when they think that we're too high maintenance this came up yesterday for someone was it you gemini too high maintenance that's what they thought too much too much work not so much drama but high maintenance in the sense of like you got standards you got options you got people after you why would you want to date them they thought it would be short-lived so they ghosted um you know knight of pentacles in and out energy someone who uh acts on a whim very impulsive um a little bit aggressive too maybe they could have aggressively pursued you then they cut you off because they thought they thought it was too much hard work hmm not not a good look i'm gonna be honest with you i don't like this bit bill if it was a, a long-term connection baby it was someone ah oh boy it was kind of the same but it was like it was someone who just did not want to keep up with you there was something about you as someone who was watching you, you know, uh, and I think you've gone through you've gone through some changes recently yourself. Like maybe you're, you're on a spiritual journey. Maybe you started watching tarot on the internet. Maybe you become a tarot reader. Maybe you've gone back to school. Maybe you did a glow up. Maybe uh, you put on some weight, filled yourself up. Now you're like an hourglass boo boo. Maybe you lost weight if that's what you wanted to do. You know, whatever it was, baby, whatever it was. This person's like, mm, what is this Gemini up to? Looks like hard work all of a sudden. I'm, you know, I don't like this attitude. They're like, why are you taking care of yourself all, all of a sudden? You know, why did you, why did you get a new car? Maybe you got a new job. You're doing better for yourself. And this person's feeling insecure, all right? And they don't, didn't like this feeling. So they cut you off. They could have said something real critical. This is a critic, you know, you've been living with a critic. Um, you know, you really want to wear that? Do you really want to eat that? Like, are you going to finish that? Like, just shut the fuck up, you know? Like, this is an annoying ass person. I don't like this person's attitude. They didn't, uh, remember, it's a, it's a general reading. Not everything will resonate with you. But this person just had that kind of an attitude prone to anger, too. Very prone to anger. Prone to, like, maybe not even, like, you know, violent anger, but, like, just, like, burst of meanness. A mean person. They, this is someone who burns bridges. You could be dating or in a, a relationship with who they have no friends. And uh, they have no friends because they're a hateful person. I'm sorry, Gemini. It's true. It's a hateful little boo -bill. You know the type. You know the type. Oh, my God. You know, I often date people like that. Really, I, legit. Like, I always date people like that because I'm quite sociable. Um, 
I'm very sociable and I'm just like a nice person. Well, I'm not really a nice person, but I'm just like, I'm not nice if you cross me, you know what I'm saying? I am a nice person by default, but then I turn evil. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm always dating someone real grumpy that everyone's like, everyone hates him. You know, it's like, he's such a hateful, why are you with him? I don't know. It's just like, I guess opposites, right? So yeah. Uh, the anyway, anyway, enough about me, but you know what I'm saying? It's that couple who's like, you know, one person's really nice and they're dating like the grumpiest little mushroom. I don't know why I said mushroom, but like gr the grumpiest little molding mushroom in the, uh, in the na neighborhood. Okay. N okay, never mind. Uh, um, the quirky is coming out. The quirky is coming out. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. They want to change their fate. All right, they want to change things up. They want to come back. This person wants back in your life. Spinning the Wheel of Fortune, taking a risk. They want to come back in. Queen of Pentacles. This is how they see you. Disregard the gender. It's arbitrary. You can't queen anyone in between. This person wants to come back into your life. All right, they want to send you a message, and they're hoping that you're going to receive them favorably, my bell. Hmm. Hmm. The devil. This is what they're going to do next, okay? They're going to try and tempt you into taking them back in. Or if it's a himbo bimbo from Tinder, you know, they're going to try and slide into your DMs again. And they're going to try and get away with that, you know? Mr. Devil, Mrs. Devil, anyone in between, okay? Sir, sir. They want to slide right back in. <laughs> it's a slippery slope, though, if you want to slide back into Gemini's life, Bipo. This is, you know, big mistake. Okay, let's see going forward. Is the energy good or is it going to be drama? Six of Cups. All right, look, this person, I'll tell you what. This person really regrets what they did. They're going to stick to you like, um, they're going to stick to you like, Glue, all right? Gorilla glue. Remember that gorilla girl who, the gorilla, gorilla glue girl from like a couple of years ago that, with the hair? Aww. And she became famous from that. If you know what I'm talking about, you're a blue angel through and through. There's like a gorilla glue uh, situation with a girl's hair. And she became famous from it, I think. And she's so gorgeous. Anyway, whatever. I endorse this girl. Uh, so, yeah, she had like a glue incident, but uh, like the internet was really nice to her, I think, uh, which is uh, un <laughs> unheard of. <sighs> oh my God, what is wrong with me? Today is, is, is a hard day, all right? I don't know, maybe Gorilla Glue is important to someone. Maybe you got glue in your hand right now. I don't know, maybe your kids are playing with glue. <laughs> don't sniff it though. <laughs> oh my God, the devil. Okay, they're gonna stick to you like glue. And it's not just like normal glue, it's like super glue, gorilla glue, whatever, industrial glue. They're gonna stick to you like glue because they've realized that what they did was dumb. All right, this person, whatever this was, you know, it was all about the insecurity and they're coming back because they wanna fix that. Six of Cups, I think going forward, if you take this person back in, they will be your shadow, okay? They will not let you out of their sight because they, you know, they've experienced loneliness without you and they don't wanna repeat it, you know? So it's like they understand the mistake they made. Like that girl with the glue, you know, what? I can't remember what she did with it, but she did something and it was like, you know, all it takes is a second, right? Um, no fault of hers, obviously, all love to her. So she like, you know, made a little mistake. And this person feels like, obviously it was a big mistake what they did, but like the mistake they made, um, they understand could change their life forever and they don't want that because life is hell without you Like that is just the truth and this nostalgia the six of cups is someone who will miss you forever If you don't reconcile they will miss you forever So it's you know, it's your choice boo boo if you want to reconcile with them, but they're definitely going to uh, You know, they've changed <laughs> They've changed but it might be too late Gemini because this person really messed this up and uh, I do see a lot of stupidity and selfishness here. So I mean, it's up to you, Boo Boo. Um, you know, when it comes to when this person is going to come back in, uh, I'm really not sure when it comes to the timing because it is a general reading. It, different things will dis resonate for different people. The devil is a Capricorn season. So for some of you, you know, something, um, something could have occurred, you know, quite a while ago and it will take a while for it to unravel. It could be uh, that this person will wait until Capricorn season or something will come to a head in Capricorn season. I also see the six of cups, six hours, six days or six weeks be probably more likely for this person coming back in. Um, they want it to happen fast, but you know, who knows? Because this person uh, knows that they did something really bad. They did a big boo boo, so it might take a long time to unravel. So, uh, also, you know, you may have moved on by then. So, it's up to you, Gemini. Gemini is fast acting, so I'm not sure why this person is waiting for some kind of an epiphany, but whatever. By the way, Gemini, this is also your energy here in the devil. This is the inverse of the lovers, which is your card. So, you know, this person is very much 
coming in, um, coming in with your energy in them. But also, it, it, you know, the devil could also be saying that they're going to do it the wrong way. So also be prepared for that. So if you receive a message, it could, you know, uh, good intentions turning into bad intentions. Again, Gorilla Glue's incident. Do look it up so you know what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. Um, or they... It's like an apology turns into an argument or an apology turns into an insult. Like, I'm sorry you felt offended. You know, it's that kind of a thing. Uh, or, you know, they're just going to do go about it the wrong way. So maybe uh, for some of you, this person is waiting to come in until Capricorn season because they think, oh, I better wait a little bit so, Cap so Gemini isn't so mad at me. But like waiting long is foolish because Gemini will be over you. You see what I'm saying? So it's, you know, it's that kind of an energy. So it's up to you really, my darling Gemini, but this is what I have for you today. Thank you for putting up with my quirky because it's like sometimes it gets really bad and I appreciate that you, you know, you're very understanding. I do love you so much, my darling Gemini. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story and also if you vibe with my quirky and my channel and you like my videos, why not subscribe? Turn on that notification button and of course like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. Boo -boo. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. I have one more thing to tell you though. I have a plug. This is for my friend. This is not a sponsored thing. This is uh, my friend Gondora Official who is a YouTube tarot reader. She has this uh, journal. It's called 30 Day Prescription for Self Love. Super reasonably priced. Check it out on Amazon. It is uh, for manifesting love but uh, it's about starting with self-love. She also has other gratitude journals, uh, things to do with love. Uh, she does also, she, she's a tarot reader. She does spell work manifestation. She's amazing. So if you want to manifest uh, new love, uh, if you want, want to manifest that good, perfect, nourishing, high order love, soulmate, you know, whatever, you know, whatever it is that you're after, uh, this is where you want to start. I'm also working with this journal. You can tell because I got my uh, makeup on it. And so you can tell I've been there. If my makeup's that makeup is there, I've been there, but Bill, I've, you know. <laughs> Ah, Blue Angel was here. So uh, it is 30 days, but you don't have to do it every every day. You can do it every second day, once a week, you know, whatever works for you. I've been working with it, and I think it's gorgeous. So I'm going to link it in the uh, pinned comment below. Uh, check out Gondora Official in general because she's gorgeous. She's also a Blue Angel. She's she's a whole, she's all the angels. Uh, anyway, this is what I have for you today, Gemini. Uh, I'm going to go now because I'm getting way too quirky and way, way, way too hyper. Uh, I love you. See you tomorrow. Mwah. And may the angels protect you with them.